ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Amazing love, how can it be? Oh, hello, hello. I'm glad you're back here at the kingdom. It is I, Theophilus. I stopped by to see how our young squire Gus has been coming along with his studies. Yes, I hope he's making good progress. <laughs> Oh, I think I hear my old friend Rufus. Rufus, Rufus, how do you do? Oh, what's that? You have a message for me. Well, speak on, dear dragon. Sorry, doggy. I meant doggy. Yes. Oh, it's a message about Gus the Gallant. Uh, what about Gus? He's going? He's going where? He's going to Rome. Oh, I hear Rome is beautiful in the winter. Oh, not Rome. Sorry, I was wrong. Where is he going? That I thought he said Rome. It's a lovely place all the way over in Italy. Oh, he's going. He's going to a house. He's going to live in a birdhouse. He's going to the White House. He's running for president. He's... No, he's... He's going home. He's going home. Oh, thank you, Rufus. Thank you for the warning. Oh, he's going home. Oh, I, that sort of surprises me. I thought Squire Gus liked it here in the kingdom, and he was doing quite well with his studies as far as Sir Praise-a-Lot has told me. I just find it rather odd that he would be leaving already. We were just getting... Oh, hark! I think he's approaching. Shh! Don't say anything. Oh, hello there, Theophilus. You'll never guess what I have to tell you. You're quitting your studies and going back to your happy little village. I'm quitting my studies and going back to my happy little... What? How did you know that? A little bird told me. <laughs> so tell me, uh, what made you decide to go home? Oh, teacher, I'm not good enough to become a knight. Huh, not good enough to be a knight, is that so? Yes, I don't know the Bible by heart. Sometimes I do oh. wrong in God's eyes and... I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but I'm not even good with this sword. Oh, that is quite a surprise. Not good with a sword. So let me get this straight. You're saying that you don't think you're good enough to serve the king? Yes, that's exactly right. You see, he is a perfect god, and he deserves a perfect servant. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Oh, no, no, dear Gus. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at me. You see, none of us are perfect. Not me, not Sir Praise a lot, not even the disciples were perfect. No, God doesn't call those who are perfect. God calls whomever he chooses. <laughs> yes, well, uh, but, but, well, you see, that's the other thing. Oh? I have not once heard God calling me. Oh, and what were you expecting? A booming voice to come from heaven saying, Gus, Gus, I'm calling you. Follow me. Yes, you see, that would be very helpful. Then I would know I'm good enough to follow Jesus. Oh, Gus, very few of us ever hear the actual voice of God. But there are many, many, many ways to hear his call. There are? Well, how? In what ways? Well, we've got the Bible, and after all, his words are there in the Word of God. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. You mean mm -hmm. God can be calling us from within the Bible? Well, it is called the Word of God, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let me get it out and I'll show you. Um... <laughs> Here we are. Now in this story, Jesus got into the tiny boat of a simple fisherman named Simon Peter. And Jesus asked him to put out into the lake where he could teach the people. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So 
Jesus taught from inside of a boat of a simple fisherman named Simon Peter. Good listening, Gus. Yes, after Jesus had finished, he told Simon Peter and his friends to put down their nets for a catch of fish. Uh, so what did Simon Peter say? He said, we've been fishing all night long without a bite. Why, we haven't even found Nemo. But because you say so, I will let down my nets. And did they catch a whole boatload of fish? They caught two boatloads. Oh, they caught so many fish that both boats began to sink. Oh, praise God, what a miracle. They had caught so much fish. But did, did that mean then that Simon Peter decided to follow Jesus so Jesus could get more fish for them? No. No, you see, Jesus had a different plan. Jesus said, don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So they pulled their boats up on the shore, left everything, and followed him. <laughs> so they left everything? Yes, that's the truth. They left everything and followed him. Did Simon Peter leave behind his boat? Yes, he left everything. Did Simon Peter uh, leave behind his nets? Yes, he left everything. Did uh, he also leave the nets behind that were filled with fish too? Yes, kids, what did he leave? Everything. everything. <laughs> it's amazing what people will leave behind to follow Jesus. Yes, that's very true. Well, good luck, Gus. It's been nice knowing you. Have fun in your little village. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what's that? When Jesus said, follow me, he was talking to Simon Peter. But is it possible that Jesus had said those words for all of us to read them, even me? Now you're getting it, Gus. King Jesus wants all of us to follow him. I finally have my heading at last. I choose to follow Jesus because serving the king is the noblest thing. Yes, come, come, Gus. Come, my son. Uh, we shall serve the king together. Excellent. Oh, oh, you're forgetting your things. I didn't forget them. I left them behind like a couple of fishermen I know. Wise choice, my boy. Wise choice right this way. <laughs> That's amazing, <laughs> all those fish. Ooh.